Hi all, welcome to today's post ma live market report. So as we expected today it has gapped down. So since yesterday market closed near the day's low, obviously the expectation would be like slightly bearish to flat. So as we expected, uh, the right now the result is in front of us. Uh, Bank Nifty is down uh, by 400 points, so trading around 37,650 and Nifty is uh, down by 100 points, so trading around 17,850 and moreover India VIX is again 2.7%. Uh, so obviously uh, this is majorly because of the global uh, scenarios we are seeing the gap down and moreover uh, uh, yesterday <coughs> Uh, US Fed has made some statement related to inflation. So whenever the market is rising, so we don't know there, there are something which is coming and putting pressure on the market. So uh, this is very, uh, nowadays it has become a new normal. So whenever market is going, so some something is coming out to put the pressure. So that's what I can say about it right now. Uh, no view from my side because uh, if you look at uh, <coughs> The price action wise, we already said the two days before we had a gap up and that survived uh, given the rally and now market is just uh, sustaining below the close. So if at all yesterday low, please note down in Bank Nifty the yesterday low is around uh, 39,450 right. So you can make it as a uh, round number as for the resistance. So if 38,000 is not captured uh, from here on for the two day, maybe we were going for the 37,200. This is where uh, my view for the day but uh, uh, if even if you look at the short term uh, setup so generally uh, we what uh, the short term i follow is uh, 15 minutes and uh, moreover uh, i also teach uh, all these short term setups uh, for, through, through zebu school so if you look at uh, the current setup of the uh, short term so it looks like uh, bank nifty has just now given a signal of bearish but only thing was the stop loss is 1000 point but moreover uh, this is kind of an uh, uh, oversold conditions even in terms of 5 minutes but uh, but don't go for a long right now because the short term has changed to sell and moreover in nifty also i think uh, yes nifty is supposed to give uh, maybe in the next 15 minutes once the candle close we'll get a confirmation so people who are already learned from us uh, using this uh, uh, short term trading setup could uh, uh, could take views from yourself in case if you are looking for what are all those learnings uh, uh, in the description of this video we will be having a telegram channel of zebu school so please be uh, a member of that we will be teaching uh, regular sessions for free so play, please make use of that so as per that uh, so i am expecting uh, somewhere around uh, bearishness is just kicking in even the price wise so in the 15 minutes chat uh, the thing is coming so whatever the bullish has happened so i was expecting to consolidate in this zone and this is the key zone because this is the almost support zone so what we can think about is so maybe for the next uh, for the day if the today is low whatever has made for the first 20 minutes so right now the 15 minutes is over if this low is not going to break then we can have a think about uh, a relief rally till 38 38000 Bank Nifty has 38,000, whereas Nifty can go till 18, 18,000. Uh, we already seen yesterday, this 18,000 call raters and put raters were uh, having a tug off for yesterday. So obviously by looking at today's action, so maybe at 10 o'clock we will come to know this 18,000 call would have added more uh, writings toward that. But we just we need to see how this put raters uh, very close to the 17,800 is playing because that will uh, play a major role uh, because chart wise 17, uh, 800 is the major key level so around that zone if somebody is looking at the put in the put writings and all those things you will get a clear clue about uh, what is going to happen before if this is going to break or this is going to held there will be a clue in that so please have a look at that and moreover uh, for my view what i say is though short term is now sell i'm just waiting for 200 to 300 point consolidation to throw up and then i may be taking a trade so i'll be taking a trade if at all if, if there is a pullback today provided uh, uh, it, it does not uh, breach uh, 38200 so the, around 38 to 38200 is my better entry place and my stop loss will be for this short term setup uh, somewhere around uh, 38600 could be my stop loss but uh, if you are going for this kind of short term trading at least keep minimum risk reward 1 is to 2 so that means what 600 is the risk so at least 1000 point we should be able to capture in so but if you are a real trader please concentrate on which kind of risk you are going to take uh, is it directly you are going to trade in future uh, if that is the case i will ask you to take a look at it because uh, nowadays these moves are not uh, in linear because it's a news based move and uh, two days back what happened sdfc merger has announced and bank nifty has flown even i was bearish uh, i could just washed away with that uh, uh, 
uh, view so as of now i do not have any view right now what i am trying to do is yeah in a price 15 minutes short term uh, chart is signaling some kind of sell but only thing is this low whatever is there could be a confirmation for the further sell off so whatever the first 15 minutes or 20 minutes low made for the day this will be the savior for the bulls if at all this breaks uh, please note down whatever the gap it has made in the last two days obviously this is going to get filled as per the gap fill theory so that's it from my side as of now so maybe if you look at uh, yeah uh, institutional point of view even yesterday if you have seen uh, there is no much uh, inflow so if i were buyer just for around 300 even dios are buyer but just only for the 100 crore so that, that means uh, looking at the yesterday price action uh, i assumed that this could be the muted number so it was there but uh, again the today price action and the today institutional flow will decide the market course for the direction because after rally after a breakout so it is taking some kind of breather but if at all if you wanted to uh, take a view always ensure that you have a proper risk in uh, mind so that is the major advice from me maybe we will see so please note down if at all if i am going to sell i am not going to sell here if there is a bounce i may be selling around 3800 to 3200 zone for the positional things and my stop loss could be 38600 if at all if the day low breaks obviously i will jump in for a intraday sell off also so my target for the intraday itself will be if the low breaks it will be around 37 in case of bank nifty whereas nifty this will be somewhere around 17650 to 17600 just assume that whatever the gap it has made it is going to fill if at all this low whatever has made in the first 20 minutes is going to break so please bear that in mind so do not play heavily because again today evening we may get an us fed minute update and moreover tomorrow is the expiry so please ensure that your risk is in control and your portion size is in control and then maybe we will just review at the end of the day hope you enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching signing off damodaran